what's going on youtube welcome back to some more star citizen and i've been mining today you know actually the last uh 36 well no i won't say 36 hours because i don't play constantly for 36 hours but half of last night and all of today i have been mining and what the ship that is behind me is the misc prospector it is the solo mining ship that is currently flyable and it's been flyable for a long time and in star citizen it is available to buy with just over 2 million alpha uec i believe and it's on sale permanently on the pledge store for 155 dollars i know i'm trying to sell you uh it sounds like i'm trying to sell you the ship but honestly this ship is a buy 100 i don't care if you're a dog uh dog fighter i don't care if you're a cargo runner i don't care if whatever your main preferred game loop is if you want to make some money dude and i haven't made money off of this thing yet just to hold up because this is going to be a two-parter i have been mining all day and i have just ref uh refined ore sitting in my carrick i have some more orders still re being refined right now that are going to go into my carrick i'm basically waiting to fill up my carrick completely 100 percent, and then we're going to sell some stuff but i know mining's lucrative depending on what you get i'm not being picky and uh, pick and choosing i'm not doing quantanium or layer night or all this stuff i'm basically like okay you got copper in this cool we'll take this you got gold in this cool we'll take this either way it's so it, it's all it's really all your investment is time so if you'd want to just make some money and chill mine seriously but let's talk about the ship a little bit this is the misc prospector again it's a solo miner uh mining ship and it's honestly worth the money it really is whether it's well real money or alpha uec so um i will show you guys the uh, loadout here in just a second because i actually do not have a stock of mining laser on here but everything on the ship is is stock aside from my quantum drive and the stuff on the mining laser and i'll show you that here in a second but um i put a put a voyage quantum drive and i just left everything stock because i'm not taking this thing out in combat why would i you know so it just let's take a little all walk around it's got a great view from the cockpit as you can see there the whole cockpit is just a bubble you know it's like it's probably got one of the best views in the game and to be honest with you it it, it needs that you know <laughs> it needs that especially for what it is um i do bonk a little bit so before we do anything i do bonk off off uh, uh rocks in the planet surface i do ha i have drift in my thrust masters right now so it's just just you know it's something that's gonna be getting fixed at some point here soon it's just right now i'm kind of dealing with it so but okay so we have that is the cockpit and me kind of rambling a little bit we got some vtol thrusters here and there's also the same on the other side and then we have these are the bags that are, holds all of your ore that you mine and it's really cool i mean it's it's they did a really really good job at making this ship look good but also industrial and um functional unlike drake so <laughs> yeah it looks good you got some uh, good vtol thrusters here this ship is not fast it's not maneuverable it's nothing it's, it doesn't need to be it's not what it's for but it is a good ship you actually got a big main thruster here and these are, are also two main thrusters as well so but my favorite feature of the ship to be completely honest with you is like if i if i'm mining late at night I'm like, oh, I don't want to go back to the station to go all the way back and just put all the stuff away. Oh, I don't know. It's got a freaking bed. That's awesome. You know, a little ship like this with a bed? Dope. And it's got, you know, you got your access ports and stuff. Here, like your jump drive, your gravity generator, all this other stuff. Maintenance, life support engineering, all that stuff. You know, but so we got the bed and we got a space shitter we can drop a deuce in space and i love it so this thing's like this thing plans for you to be out for a while and it's absolutely awesome so before we take off i'm going to show you the other like the mining stuff because i don't exactly remember what i have on the ship so we're going to store the ship and uh show you what i all have on this thing okay so we're here with the prospector on my vlm so like that so i got obviously no flare items or whatever this thing is stock you know pretty much systems stock cooler 
stop uh power plant uh stock shield we got a voyage quantum drive in it done paints nothing stock weapons it's only got size one gim uh gimbals you know you could put them to fix size ones but i don't understand why you would do that i don't understand why you would take this thing out in combat so boom stock here's the real real meat all right so the weapon um that it comes with or the mining laser it comes with the arbor mh1 mining laser i have two different things right here the the hofstadter or hofstade or whatever is a nice laser i use it for a little bit just to get a feeling for things it's, a, it's better than just than your stock mining laser but it, get, it helps you get a um a feel for things your minimum power is five percent which is really nice so you can just trickle some power in if you're really close you know but the one i've been really uh running and to be honest with you i'm not the greatest at running this and i'm not even sure if like this is the meta mining but whatever i like it um my uh my buddy chief is this is his setup that he told me that he uses so i started using it so we got the helix one mining laser with these uh modules modules are different things that kind of give you like added bonuses or whatever i don't ex actually know a lot about them uh, but you can see some bonuses like mining power or mining laser power 125 percent you know optimal charge window size negative one percent kind of thing so i run oh damn so this is i run an xtr module gives me these kind of bonuses here it's also these are also passive so i don't have to try to do it activate anything on them which is nice but yeah we get all these bonuses for this so we run the the xtr module and the rigor c3 module for that at first i to be honest with you i thought these things were consumable i'm not 100 percent sure if they were consumable at once before but i was under the impression that they were consumable once they get damaged or whatever they went away that's not the case when you claim your ship or when you repair your ship you still have them done done deal it's like claiming your ship with your loadout on it it's great so so that's what i'm running on here and let's finally after seven minutes of rant eight minutes of rambling let's go let's go uh let's go do some mining all right we are out in the prospector i jumped from crew l1 to crusader space and we are jumping to damar right now so this is a little different you know i'm not actually taking this thing out in combat because that's what i normally do i just like shoot shit essentially you know and uh this has been a nice change of pace you know the i was talking with chief and we're like you know let's let's and twitch has actually brought this up a couple times too that like you know we should go and expand our skill set i guess and try out some new stuff and mining was pretty much on the top so i'm not going anywhere specific i'm just going on Sunnyside Damar. Use whatever Lagrange or whatever these quantum beacons or quantum markers I could jump to just to get me closer to the planet. And we're just gonna start scanning and looking for shit. Essentially. Like I'm not I'm not going specifically for Laranite or Quantanium. Quantanium is actually not even possible in uh prospectors, from what I hear. That I could be wrong, but um anymore at least. Um so I'm not looking for oh it's only top I'm only not I'm not looking for only top tier things you know I just don't care because I'm only investing time and cost of fuel for the most part and the cost of refinement which is negligible at best at best right so all you're really investing is time so you know what don't I'm not trying to min max this no you know if I, it's got copper cool if it's got gold cool if it's got laranite dope. You know, if it's got gold, uh, I said gold already. If it's got, you know, it doesn't matter. Just whatever it has. You know, as long as it's not like cheap, 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 like shit. You know what I mean? So let's go look for some stuff. Cool. We got. We got one right here. And I go on the sunny side just because sometimes it just gets to be a pain in the ass to fly and at nighttime. No, that's right. I didn't, I didn't map it. Alright. So, turn on mining mode, if you don't know, is M. 
is the it's M on your keyboard that is the default key binding and with the, your uh, mining mode out you automatically start scanning some of these rocks so let's check this big one first oh before we do that actually turn on your your uh, your uh, speed limiter turn that shit down because we need to be good I doubt I'll be able to yeah impossible which and it's only copper I'm not worried about copper okay it's not that not end of the world let's see what we got here that's a medium we'll take that but I see these purples right off the rip so we'll go in extracting mode see what they got and then we'll crack this rock I'll show you show you a way or a thing that I've been to put that difficulty a little bit lower. Our go CM and copper, not that big of a deal. So this is extraction mode. These these rocks have uh, already been kind of broken, but they were just left behind or something like that. But it, it's free ore, dude. Just take it. Your prospect is going to fill up pretty quick. I don't even know what was on there. Go for it. All right. So let's crack this rock. All right. So we scanned this rock, right? This one was a medium. Let's uh, let's even the odds a little bit. It's a medium. It's not too bad. But but let's even the odds a little bit. We'll land, touch down, boom, engines off. Never want to leave your engines on. Open says me. Thank you. Get out of the ship. So, this thing I have on me is called a... Well, it's, it's a mining gadget. It's called a... I actually forgot what it's called. Let's see. I can... It's a Sabir. Or whatever the hell it's called. It's a mining gadget. It'll, it'll help us even the odds a little bit. So, we'll hit four on the keyboard if you have a my uh, multi-tool that might be the first thing that pops up you just hit four again and then we just kind of go for a place place the gadget on the rock let that do its thing and now we got to interact with this so now we got to try to change some stuff right So we gotta try to get this as close to ninety percent as possible. All right. Oh, look at that! Ninety percent right off the rip. Look at that. So you just gotta mess around with these little things to get it to like as close to ninety percent as possible, and then we hit activate. Caution device is active. So, I don't exactly know how that works. It some ha has to do with some kind of frequency thing. And we get back on the ship. I've all I've learned all of this today. This is you know, I'm not a I'm not an expert. I literally learned all of this today. <laughs> like flying the prospector, the 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 things I should be putting on my mining head. This gadget, how to even freaking mine. Now, it's not my first time mining, but 
it's my first time really going in depth with things. So we are going to go back to fracture mode. Turn on our engine. Actually, we might be at good range right now with this. Yeah, I think we are. Put our laser intensity up. Hands are off. So it's being a little stubborn. We're still on the ground with our freaking landing gear, too. That's awesome. We just gotta let that green bar climb. Let her climb. Let her climb. Come on. You can do it. They're going. And go up. Keep going. Keep going. As you can see, the rock's getting a little hot, too. So, we want things to be here. If we get too much in here, rock goes boom, we die. Explosions. Cool. Not fun. Well, kind of fun. But not all that fun. So, we just got, we got to, once that green bar starts going up, just start bringing our sensitivity down a little bit. All right, all right, see. Let's bring that that intensity down here a little bit. Pull it up a little bit so we still see, stay in that green bar. Kind of play with our intensity a bit here. We're all the way down now. Boom. See, we took a, we, we flickered a little bit, you know, I, and that's happened to me quite a bit, but we're cool. So now we go back to extraction mode. We are a little, we are about halfway full because of all that other stuff, but you know what? Copper, let's do it. And look how, like, your ship will fill up fast. Like, I'm already almost full. We cracked one rock. Now, some of these are big enough where we would have to mine them again. But we don't need that. Hold on, what is all this? So, and I'm also not getting a lot of inert material. And inert material is basically just wasted material for of space, you know? What's this one? Just another one we still have got to mine. So this was a pretty big rock that I cracked. Probably one of the bigger ones I've done today. So we got a little bit of inert material there. Yeah, still got to crack some of this. All right. So. We're at 20%. That's climbing a little bit here. Easy rock. Turn that. Yeah. I'm not even messing with my laser intensity. Chip pop. There we go. There we go. Back to extraction mode. We just want something to top off. Nice. So if you look before we leave, we're we're well no we're not quite full. We're we're just barely past full. So we'll grab a little bit here. Now we're full. Now we're full. So if you look, 
that's all the stuff we got we got 24 scu of copper we got th uh, almost four of argisium and hephaestite you know almost three of that and then we have some inert materials but you know for the most part that's pretty good so now we just got to go refine it so we're going to turn that off turn back on cruise control put our landing gear back up because i forgot to put that up and we're going to head back to crew one and head it to the refinery we're back i did touch the ground a little bit already i just wanted to straighten out but we're back at crew one and the prospector this thing like i should have done this earlier you know i've been playing this game for a year right a little over a year now and all i've done was really do some bunkers and bounty hunt and a little bit of pvp and a little bit of the events like i haven't expanded a whole lot in some of these other game loops like uh i know i tried a, a little bit of racing and i'll get back to that at some point um but like i've tried a little bit of racing i've done salvage a little bit i did actually have a salvage video but trust me if i would have posted that i would have gotten demonetized let's just say we were all chilling we were all talking shit that's where it's, we're gonna leave it at that but um other than that i haven't really i haven't done like i've done some drug running i guess but no i haven't done like the mining is fleshed out from what it seems like and it's a lot of fun and it's lucrative to say like yeah if you want to be you want to min max everything you can go for layer night and nothing else or whatever and nothing else i'm going for whatever i can find and i'm making whatever money i can because honestly i'm not investing all that much money it's ref uh, some fuel which is very minimal cost fuel some minor repairs which is also very minimal cost and then what you're gonna see here is when we throw everything in the refinery it's also very minimal cost you know depending on how many trips i make it's the cost is minimal compared to the uh the amount of profit you can make off of just um just doing this and i'll do a, i'll do my second part to show you how much i truly can make after all this stuff is refined i will do a second part because we're we're filling the carrick and then we're going and we'll we'll see how much we can do with just that so i'm getting a little framey right now so i do apologize but all right now we will hit the fulfillment or whatever this yeah refinement center oh my god fulfillment center so i got for four work orders currently processing and i have a couple other work orders already sitting in the carrot so i got an hour and 30 minutes left on this or an hour and a half left on this uh about six hours left on this and about five hours left on this see i'm not going anything crazy you know i got iron and gold titanium laranite and argisium iron laranite have festinite and barrel i i also can't pronounce some of these words so it's whatever so we're gonna do our oh we also have another six and a half hours for copper and argisium so that's pretty much what we have right here so we're gonna hit mineral selection hit miss prospector set up work order we don't need to worry about the inert materials or we'll just hit that that and that I've been doing the Pharaon exchange because apparently you can get the, the most yield out of it. But it costs a little bit more. I, th I believe. I don't actually know. So like, well, this is the base one, right? We'll get a quote. 31 minutes. 2,345 alpha UEC. I know you don't get much. You get high speed, moderate cost, low yield, right? We'll go Pharaon low speed moderate cost high yield we get a quote here same cost we wait eight and a half hours so we get more out of it so we're going to confirm that and now we have we have work orders in the process we still have my hour and a half we have my my six hour we have my five hour my and my six and a half and my eight and a half you know so let's we just gotta wait you know we just gotta invest some time and a little bit of money there's very minimal investment for honestly speculating how much money you can make just by having a prospector like you, you make two million bucks or you pledge one whatever honestly this is a ship i would recommend pledging because 
it'll get you out of the gate making money right off the rip you know so i would recommend pledging the ship so you know it just costs you a little bit get your get you a prospector you just go out the daymar or wherever wherever you think there's good rocks and you're just busting bitches open bring them to a refinement center get let them refine and then go and sell them after the fact so we'll do a part two with this i mean i know this is more of a this is kind of a showcase on the prospector but it's also a showcase in mining in general it's it's part of what the prospector is so but we'll do kind of a part two to this where we actually sell the ore that i uh that i mine today after it's refined we'll go and sell it and see how much we can make i think uh, hopefully it'll be kind of a shorter video you know but we will see and we'll maybe we'll record the whole trip because maybe we'll be inter interdicted i don't know but i'm gonna wrap things up here that was mining the prospector and honestly i've had I like i i feel rejuvenated with this game because of trying something different so like if you are like a pvp -er or a bounty hunter or a miner and you want to do something different like just go out and try some of these other game loops if you haven't because i guarantee you, you like like if the game is starting to feel dull to you you try out another game loop you're gonna you, if you enjoy it you're gonna feel just rejuvenated and finding something else you enjoy to do within this amazing test bed of a game so as as imperfect as it is just trust me the game pisses me off this thing this game does actually have a lot to offer but i'm gonna wrap things up here i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and leave a like hit that subscribe button and just a reminder 83 percent of you guys are not subscribed if you are enjoying my content i know i like if, if you are like su su subscribe i don't think i'm not boring do you think i'm boring i don't think i'm boring if you're watching this you probably don't think i'm boring so go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification so you don't miss another upload and i will see you guys in the next video in around the verse Alrighty, have a good one